Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here from cubicking77.com doing a video showing you how to unlock the bootloader on your HTC One, whether it be the Sprint variant, AT&T, International, whatever variant it is, this will show you how to unlock the bootloader, which will uh, then allow you to install a custom recovery and then allow you to root the device. So this is the first step in a multi-step process to root your device. So let's go ahead and unlock the bootloader. First of all, I do wanna make a note that all data is going to be wiped all your apps, all of your your messages, everything. So make sure you do have a backup of everything. Also, your internal storage is gonna be wiped. All your pictures, all your music, everything is going to be gone. So it'll be like it just came out of the box of the device. So keep that in mind, make sure you back everything up. I just backed up my internal storage myself. So the first step you're gonna to need to do is actually click on the link in the description of the video. It's gonna take you to my website. I've actually compiled a folder for you guys to make this process even easier. So what you can do is go ahead and click on the link in the description. It will take you to my website. The article is gonna look similar to this. It'll be a lot more actually. This is just temporary. You'll see a download button. Make sure you click that download button. It's going to be a folder actually. And that folder is going to be called right here, one drivers underscore fast boot. That is what I've named it. So uh, that's what you're gonna need inside that folder. You can just double click on it once it's done downloading and you will see uh, some things. You'll see drivers here and then you'll see a fast boot folder. First of all, for the drivers, uh, what I want you to do is go ahead and click on the top two. You'll see HTC BMP USB drivers. One's X32 for 32-bit, one's X64 for 64-bit. So depending on, uh, on your operating system, uh, go ahead and install these. Um, that's all you need to do for now. If you do run into issues with drivers in the in the future, you can try and install these drivers as well down here at the bottom. So the bottom one is for the last ditch effort and then the top two you need to install before you run through this process. So make sure you have the drivers installed on your computer. Next, you're gonna to wanna to click on the other link in my article. It's gonna take you to htcdev.com. What you're gonna to need to do is create an account. So go ahead and run through the account process. You'll see I already have one and then log in. So create an account, log in on this website. Once you've done that, you can actually go ahead and press unlock bootloader right here. So uh, press that and then hit get started. And then it's gonna go ahead and run through some steps to get the bootloader unlocked. We have, uh, we can actually skip some of them because we've already got some things set up. But what you're gonna wanna do is go ahead and select your device. Right now, as of this video, the HTC One is not on this list. You can go ahead and double check and make sure it's not on there in the future, but you can go down to all other supported models and it will work just fine. Uh, read this, it says uh, it's your responsibility if anything goes wrong, etc., etc. Unlocking your bootloader may be, may be covered under warranty, it may not, so it might void your warranty, so keep that in mind. Uh, are you sure you wish to continue? I'm gonna say yes, again, it may void your warranty, keep that in mind. You need to go ahead and read some legal terms and accept them and proceed to unlock instructions. So the first step is to actually get into the bootloader. So to get into the bootloader on your device, what you can do is press and hold the power button and then just go ahead and hit restart and hit restart. What it's gonna do is reboot and while it's rebooting, you're gonna wanna press and hold the volume down button. So keep that held down. Uh, if for any reason you're in a boot loop ever and you won't need to get into the bootloader, what you can do is actually power off the device fully and then just uh, while powering it on, press and hold volume down and the power button at the same time, let go of the power button, but keep that volume down button held down and it will take you to this screen, which is the bootloader. So taking a look at it, you will see it does say locked up at the top after we're done. It should say unlocked. It does say S on, this does not give you S off. There's no, there's no way to get S off at the moment, uh, but uh, it will unlock your bootloader and allow you to root your device. So the first step you need to do is you use volume up and down to navigate through this, uh, through this menu and the power button to select it. So highlight fast boot and then press the power button to select it. And then it will say fast boot right here. Once you've done that, you can actually plug your device into your computer. So go ahead and grab your micro USB cable and plug it into your PC. If any drivers need to be installed, which mine are doing right now, let them install. Don't start anything until those drivers are done installing. All right, so drivers have fully been installed. I am using a Windows 7 PC at the moment. If you're on Windows 8, I actually had a little bit of trouble with drivers on Windows 8. So um, I've heard that some people just say Windows 8 can't really work with HTC drivers yet. So you might have to borrow a Windows 7 PC or, or try and borrow one because I couldn't get mine to work on Windows 8. Again, it might be different for you. Just keep that in mind. But drivers are done. So what you can do is actually scroll down and hit proceed to step five. We can skip that. Uh, you can also skip this process because we already have all this stuff all ready to go. I already had that in that folder that you downloaded. So go ahead and scroll all the way down, skip all of this stuff. Keep skipping, keep skipping. 
and then you can hit proceed to step eight down at the bottom. So proceed to step eight, what you can do is actually minimize the screen and go back into that folder that you, I had you download earlier and then go ahead and double click on the fast boot folder. So double click on that and inside you'll see four files. Go ahead and hold the shift key on your keyboard, hold that down and right click. And then what you'll see is open command window here. You're gonna to wanna to press that. And what that's going to do is uh, go ahead and open your command window and point it to that fast boot folder that uh, we ha have opened behind here. So we're now ready to go and go ahead and type in some commands. All right, so the first step, well, the first command I'm going to want you to type in is just fast boot space devices. While your phone's plugged in, go ahead and hit enter. What that's going to do is bring up a bunch of letters and numbers, and that's going to let us know that fast boot, our PC does recognize our device. If it says waiting for device, you might be having some issues. Uh, some trouble troubleshooting steps are to uh, try a different USB port, try a different cable, try reinstalling drivers. You can try and shut down your computer fully, plug your device in while the computer is off and then power it on. Try that out. Again, you can try and completely uninstall your drivers, reinstall them. Uh, play around with drivers. That's a, that's a big issue if it does say waiting for a device. So once you get it to recognize your device, uh, we're ready to go ahead and type in the actual commands. So what we can do, it's actually an easy process, is go back to that HTC dev site and you'll see, type in the following command. You can just highlight it. Uh, don't add the period at the end. Make sure you don't highlight that. Right click and hit copy. Then just minimize the screen up at the top of our command window. Right click and hit edit. And then just hit paste. So fast boot space OEM space get underscore identifier underscore token. No period at the end. Go ahead and press enter. What that's gonna do is bring a bunch of letters and numbers. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and blur this out. Uh, just in case there's any personal information, any type of identifying information, what you're going to need to do is cut the following message. So to copy this message, it's quite easy actually. Um, what you're going to do is you'll see where it says identify token start. That's where you're going to want to start the copying and then at the end you'll want to copy identifier token end. So right click up at the top again and go ahead and highlight edit and hit mark. Once you've done that, what you're gonna to need to do is go ahead and start at the left side of this arrow that's just left of identify token start, and then go ahead and click and hold and bring it all the way down to the right side of the last arrow on identifier token, and make sure you don't have any spaces to the left or to the right of it, but you're gonna to need to uh, highlight all of this. Go ahead and let go. You can right click up at the top again, highlight edit, and hit copy. So what it's gonna do is copy that entire token into our clipboard. All right, so now once we have that copied, what we're gonna need to do is go back to that HTC dev site, go ahead and open up our, our browser again, scroll all the way down to the bottom and you'll see my device identifier token. Go ahead and click, right click and hit paste. So paste in that token that we just copied from our command prompt. So paste it in, you'll see it should say identifier token start at the top, identifier token end at the bottom. Once you have done that, just go ahead and hit the submit button. What's gonna go ahead and submit that token, if for any reason it's it fails, make sure you are signed in, make sure it didn't log you out of your account. Um, so double check that and uh, you should see token submitted successfully. You've been sent an email with your unlock key as a file attachment. So it says, please review this email for further instructions and a link to complete the bootloader process. So we're almost done. Uh, we just need to go ahead and check our email now that we use to register our account at htcdev.com. All right, so I got the email, it got sent right away. Again, give it a little bit of time. If it doesn't send it right away, be a little bit patient with it, but you'll see the key to unlocking your HTC device. Hi, Tim. Please uh, remember unlocking your bootloader may avoid all parts of your warranty, etc. And then scroll down and you'll see down at the bottom there's an attachment called unlockcode.bin. Click download. You need to download that file. It'll go ahead and go into your downloads folder. Um, and then you can go ahead and hit click here to continue the bootloader unlocking process. So it'll bring you through uh, some step-by-step -step instructions. But what you can do now is go into that downloads folder. All right, so inside that downloads folder, you will see unlock underscore code dot bin. Mine says a one right there just because I already have an unlock code to a different device. So yours will not, shouldn't have that one. If it does, we need to get rid of it. But what you can do is actually right click on it and hit cut because we need to move it. So hit cut and then go ahead and just paste it into that other folder, that fast boot folder with these four files. Right click and hit paste. So there we go. If it does have a number after it, get rid of it. So you'll see you want it to just say unlock code.bin. So that's what it needs to look like inside this fast boot folder. 
All right, so what we're gonna need to do now is actually open up that command prompt again. If you closed out of it, no big deal. Hold shift, right click, open command window here once again, or you can open up that command window you already had. It does not matter. So make sure that unlockcode.bin is there and we're ready to go. So we need to type in another command prompt. This is the one that will essentially unlock the bootloader now. So what we need to do is go ahead and uh, again, make sure, double check, make sure that you have everything backed up because this will wipe everything. Once you have that ready to go, go back to your browser because we can copy paste in on another one of these codes. So in the command prompt, we need to type this, fastboot flash, unlock token, unlock code dot bin. Don't have the period at the end once again. Right click, hit copy. So make sure you copy this code and we need to go ahead and minimize it. Go back to that command prompt up at the top, right click, highlight edit and hit paste and paste in that unlock code. So that fast food flash unlock token and go ahead and press enter. What it's gonna do is on our device, it's gonna bring up this screen. Again, go from the bootloader to unlock bootloader. So it says unlocking the bootloader allows you to install a custom operating system, et cetera, et cetera. Just kind of a warning. What you need to do is press volume up to highlight yes and then press the power button to select it. What that's gonna do is run through and actually unlock our bootloader on our HTC One. Again, this is doing the factory reset, wiping of internal storage, and uh, that should be it. So it looks like it'll unlock the bootloader, and then I believe it should just reboot our device, and that should be just about it. I don't believe there are any other steps to this process, but uh, we will see. And here we go, so it booted on up. You'll see unlock the device. It does take us to that HTC start screen, but that should be it. Our device is, our bootloader is now unlocked and that's it. So we're ready to install a custom recovery and reboot our device. Again, we can double check and make sure that our bootloader is unlocked. So I'm just gonna restart and go into that bootloader once again. Uh, same process, press and hold volume down button again. All right, so now back into the bootloader. You can unplug your device, you don't need it plugged in anymore, but you will see now up at the top, let's see if I can get it to focus. Um, it should say unlocked. There we have it. So it does say unlocked up at the top. It's still S on, but we are now unlocked. Our bootloader is unlocked and we're ready to go. To get out of the screen, you can just press fast boot again and then just hit reboot right here and then press the power button and that's it. So our device should reboot again. That's it. So that's the only factory reset we're ever going to need to do when unlocking the bootloader. Unless you're flashing a custom ROM, you might have to. But now to root your device, you don't have to worry about wiping any more data. So you can sign into accounts, etc. But now you can go ahead and... Uh, Follow my video on how to root the device. I will link to it in the description of the video below. I'll also have a video showing how to get free hotspot tethering on your device as well. And that's it. So your bootloader is now unlocked on your device. You can go ahead and root it. I'm very excited to get that video up and this video up as well. Hopefully it helped you guys out. Please subscribe to me. I would really appreciate it. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. I also want to make one more quick note. If you ever did want to relock your bootloader for whatever reason, uh, what you can do is go back to this folder, right click, hold shift, and hit open command window here, and then put your phone into the bootloader, plug it into your PC, and type fastboot space OEM space lock, and that's it, and press enter, and that'll go ahead and lock your bootloader again. So I wanted to make a quick note.